now that I've finished the task of creating a web page in this Web Design 1 folder using CSS and HTML to create a website, essentially I've created a template that we can take apart and alter a few things to make a much more complex website. I'm going to do the rest of this in Dreamweaver, well at least show you how to open it in Dreamweaver so that you can carry on and do it in a web authoring program. The web authoring program means that you don't need to know as much of the terminology and the specific codes and scripts that you do when you're writing pure HTML. It's a little bit easier because it's some of the tasks are replaced by button functionality. So we'll just see what that looks like. So I'll close this folder and I will open up Adobe CS4 Dreamweaver and if it doesn't pop up immediately asking me to manage my sites I will go straight to the site button at the top here and I will click manage sites manually what I want to do is to create a new site and it just asks me what is the name for my site and I'm going to call it template trial for CIS. It's now asking me where the root folder is. Where is the folder that contains all of the information for my website? I'm just going to point that onto the desktop and onto that Web Design 1 folder. And I'll open that there and I'll just select where I am there. It's asking where my images folders are so I will click there, I will open the images folder and I will select there. Let's just confirm that that's right. It's selected the web design folder and for images it's selected inside the images folder. I want the links relevant relative to this document. I don't need to worry about my address or my cache so I will just go OK. Once that's done I just need to click done and hopefully we're ready to go. If I look over here, here's my index.html. I will double click on that and it opens my web page straight into Dreamweaver exactly the same as it was before. I can look at the code which is exactly the same as the code we typed in or I can look at it in split view. I can also look at the CSS by double clicking on that to get an idea of what we've done in CSS. If I go back to my index.html and I go purely to the code view rather the design view I can now go through and I can start editing this text directly on the screen and it will automatically change my HTML code. So it's an easier way of doing it but it's quite good if you have had the practice to see what actually is happening in the background with the HTML and the CSS. From here you can go on and you can do whatever you want to do in creating a web page because we've built up a working template from scratch.